Hey there, I'm Jennifer Band, and today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make this easy keto banana bread recipe. Okay, let's get started with this banana bread recipe. It's super easy. We're gonna start with two and a half cups of almond flour, and I'm just making sure there's not a whole lot of big like clumps in it or anything like that. I like to use a really fine almond flour, so if you ever feel like your keto baked goods are kind of like gritty when you use almond flour, it could be the almond flour you're using. Find one that's not, um, find one that's really finely ground. I like to use Blue Diamond brand, but there's also Kirkland brand is really good. Um, so I, I don't know which ones to avoid because I've just been buying this one for so long. Um, but just look for one that's finely ground and it won't be gritty. It's, it's, it's really good, I'm telling you, it's really good. We're gonna add three quarters of a cup of a granulated sweetener, whichever one you prefer. One that is one for one substitute for sugar. I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking soda and a quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt. So I'm just gonna combine all of our dry ingredients. Now I'm gonna stir in three large eggs and eight ounces of plain Greek yogurt. It doesn't matter which one, just a plain Greek yogurt. You can use fat-free, you can use 2%, you can use full fat, whole Greek yogurt. It doesn't matter. You can also use sour cream, but Greek yogurt actually has less carbs than sour cream. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and three teaspoons of banana extract. And I know a lot of people will say, well, just use a banana, it's not that bad. Well, actually, you know, bananas, if, I mean, this is a keto recipe. So yeah, you're right, bananas aren't that bad. But if you want to eat keto, you're, and you wanna make banana bread, they just don't really go together. <laughs> bananas do have a lot of carbs. One banana could have 20 to 30 carbs. So if you want banana bread, just buy, you know, some banana extract, if you don't wanna eat keto and you want to be more low carb, then yeah, you probably could have a banana in your banana bread. There's no, there's no problem with that. There's also no problem with having, using banana extract. It's just what you prefer. This recipe also makes muffins. So it would make 12 muffins if you want something to make them more portion controlled or um, they are very easy to freeze. So we've got all of our batter mixed up. So now I'm going to stir in a half a cup of chopped walnuts. These are optional, but I really like the texture. And I like to chop them up a good amount so they are evenly distributed throughout the bread. Okay, now I've got a loaf pan. I've sprayed it really well with baking spray, which it does have flour in it. If you need gluten-free, I wouldn't use this. Just go ahead and use regular cooking spray, whichever one you prefer. But I really like the baking spray. It makes it really easy to release from the pan. So I'm gonna pour the batter right into our pan. And you could also line the pan with parchment paper. Just whatever you prefer, it all works. You could butter it, whatever you prefer. And now I'm gonna push it into a single layer, kinda smushy smush it around. And now this is gonna bake in a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 45 minutes or longer if it needs it. You want to cook it until it's done on the inside and a toothpick comes out clean. Okay, here is our banana bread out of the oven. We let it cool. I cut a couple of slices and look how amazing it looks. So, let me get a bite. Mm hmm It really does not taste like artificial banana at all. It has just a really good banana flavor, but it doesn't taste, I mean, it tastes like we just put banana in it. Be sure to check out this recipe. It's really good, perfect for meal prep. And you could make it into muffins. 
um, for easier portioning. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.